Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to an incredible new episode of Live from My Mother's Basement. I'm sitting here tonight by myself because my guest had a problem. We'll talk all about that and all the problems that are going on here in New Jersey right now. Uh, my uh, Facebook Live feed just started up, so excuse me, Instagram, while I address the Facebook Live Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to another edition of Live from My Mother's Basement. Check one, two. Hope you guys can hear me. Hope you guys are ready to talk. And I hope nobody calls me on my cell phone while I'm doing tonight's show. I had a guest on the show tonight. We couldn't wait to do the show, but he couldn't make it. And we're going to have to reschedule him, so I'm not going to say his name because he was a special guest. And I really wanted to blow it up big. So if you're watching out there, Anthony, his name is Anthony Sorachi. I believe that's the way you say his last name. I feel really, really bad. But he had car troubles early this morning. And he got in touch with me and he said, I can't make it tonight, which is really, really sad when that happens. But if you're in the New York, New Jersey area, you also know that there's a storm. And it's going to keep on going through the night. My uh, phone just alerted me that we're getting some puddles, I mean, uh, some some deep little rivers, and people are having a hard time coming around. <clears throat> so anyway, but I'm getting this stupid alert here that my frame is not correct. I think this looks fantastic. I'm here by myself. I'm drinking a nice Corona light. I got a different camera angle and a brand new uh, light. So let's have some fun. Let's get into it, just you and me. And since it's just me, I'm going to take in a lot of questions and talk to everybody. So just hang out for a little bit as I catch a little bit of the rhythm and we have some fun. <clears throat> I had a wonderful time. Thank you so much, everybody who came to the shows at Fasani's Comedy Theater in Port Charlotte this weekend. We started on a Wednesday to a sold-out crowd, Thursday sold out, Friday night sold out, Saturday two shows, the 6 o'clock show was fantastic, and the 9.30 show went absolutely fantastic as well. Great people in the wonderful state of Florida, especially in the Punta Gora area. Right now, quick shout out to one of my fellow entertainers. And I always say entertainers because not everybody is just a comedian and not everybody is just an actor. They got entertainers. They can do everything. So I want to do a shout out to Sharon Pfeiffer, who was in the show at 6 o'clock at Fasani's Comedy Theater. She did a wonderful job and she will be on stage with me on November 13th when we sell out the Meisner Park Theater in um, Boca Raton, Florida. I want to do a quick shout out to a fellow entertainer, Nikki Smigs. Nick, I hope you're watching right now. I'd love for you to come back down the basement while you're here on the East Coast. And if you got no plans tomorrow night, come back to Caroline's. I know you were there last week. I couldn't make it because we were in Florida. But tomorrow night, I will be on stage with my buddy in crime, uh, Joe Gorga from Jersey Housewives. Jersey Boys start a worldwide tour tomorrow night at Caroline's. We're sold out. Nick, I'm sure you can come in if you wanted to just say hello and hang out a little bit, get your picture taken, have some fun and shit like that. But tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen, at Caroline's, the beginning of a brand new tour called Jersey Boys featuring the comedy of myself, Mike Marino, and from Jersey Housewives, Joe Gorga. This is going to be crazy. From there, we're going to go to Long Island. From Long Island, we're going to Florida. From Florida, if everything goes right, we're going to go to Chicago. From Chicago, we're going to Canada. Hopefully, hopefully, next year, Canada's wide open. Montreal, Toronto, uh, Ontario, wherever the hell it is we're going. In fact, today, we got the phone call from Australia would go entertain out there in Australia with uh, my friend Joe Avati, one of the greatest Italian comedians of all time. I watch. I wish he was watching the show right now. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of great Italian comedians. There really is. Uh, from the up-and-coming new guys to the old guys from back in the day. But Joe Avati is from Australia. He actually does his routine in Calabrese. Not just Italian, a dialect, which is Calabrese. And you wonder how many people actually 
could understand that dialect. You would think just people from Calabria, but it's not true. And when you have that type of elephant balls as a stand-up comic, that's some cool-ass shit that he actually does it in a completely different language and a dialect. And he brings it to the United States and Canada. So that's why I'm making that point. Uh, cheers, everybody. And thank you, everybody in Florida. Hope you're watching. And thank you. One of the greatest things about uh, this run in Port Charlotte is I was making up so much new material, it wasn't even funny. And I appreciate when people yell out, signature jokes that I've done in the past, like Vinny get the bat, and when people were yelling out, do Osama bin Laden. But when a comedian wants to do new stuff, you kind of got to let it go. But um, I'll probably uh, uh, do some of the old stuff again and again and again, and then have some fun with all the new shit that I'm doing. Because as you get older, you start doing stuff about getting older. And it's, enjoy it's, it's a joy, and it's fun. Vasani's Comedy Theater. Whether you go see me or a band or another comedian, go. It is a fantastic place to watch a show of any kind. And, and the food is just ridiculous. Sonny's Comedy Theater. Ciao. It's one of the Comedy Zones. And the Comedy Zone is a legendary comedy chain. And they're all over the United States. Wow, that's cold. How is everybody? I've been watching the news today because as I was rehearsing stand-up comedy with Joe Gorga, Jersey Housewives, I had to stop for a little bit and watch the news so I could talk about what's going on in the world. Or at least here in New York City and New Jersey. Here in New Jersey, the weather got really, really bad last night, all through the night, and then today, for most of the day. And it rained so hard. It said that today was the first nor'easter of the year. Because this is the season, I guess, fall for the nor'easters. It's one thing when it's raining and it smells nice. And it's warm outside. And you can enjoy some rain. This weekend is Halloween. It's nice to have some chilly weather when Halloween comes around. But this rain was out of control. And it rains so hard that it creates not just puddles, but a river. It's like a river of water. And in some areas of New Jersey, you can't go anywhere. So I'm really hoping that we're not going to get all kinds of phone calls that some places were flooded. Now, luckily here in this basement, in my house here in New Jersey, I never got flooded, haven't gotten flooded, and hope I don't get flooded. But when it does flood some people's basements in this area, you're screwed because it smells like shit for a really long time, and then it's damp, and it's cold out. It's very, very hard to get rid of that mold that can kill you. So I'm very, very lucky and blessed. However, I'm also going to ask this question, and we'll see if we can't get some answers from some of the listeners who are watching. I think I got bitten by bed bugs last night. Now, I have a nice bed, and my sheets are always clean. But I got bit, munched on. I was scratching like crazy. You ever notice sometimes you're half asleep, and you're thinking maybe you're dreaming? But then you realize you're scratching the fuck out of your ankles. And now that I just thought about it, I'm getting itchy again. So is it psychosomatic or am I really getting bit? And this morning, I saw a grasshopper near my coffee pot. I don't even know where I'm going with this. Not a grasshopper, a cricket. A cricket. Not supposed to kill the crickets. For whatever reason. I don't know. Maybe they kill other bugs or some shit like that. But this cricket was huge. He was like the size of my thumb. And he's just sitting there. And I couldn't kill it because he was too big. But did you ever take like a boatload of, not a boatload, but a lot of paper towel to kill a bug? And once you grab it, you could feel he's in there. 
So what I do is I wet them a little bit so I could drown them and squish them, and then I put them in the garbage. But for some reason or other, I always think he's going to come back to life, he's going to get out of that garbage, and he's going to fuck me up. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was a mosquito, Gina. I don't know. Gina, my friend who writes, is writing into the show right now, and she said maybe it was a mosquito. I feel like I've been bitten by a bunch of mosquitoes right around the fucking ankle. I'm scratching it right now while I'm doing this shit. Art of the Drum, how are you? It's nice to see you. I'm going to start talking to everybody because I'm by myself on tonight's broadcast. My guests couldn't make it. I have guests on my show until the new year. We lined it up. We got everybody from celebrities to comedians to uh, other people in the industry. And maybe someday the Art of the Drum will come on the show. I know Gina will have on the show. Hopefully, I'll get to see you in person very, very soon. So let's see who's saying hello to me on Facebook. Excuse me. I'm burping from having a beer. Holy smokes. Hey, I sold a lot of merchandise in Florida. I'm scratching. Damn, the ankle. I said mosquito, and now I'm hurt. Um, I sold a lot of sweatshirts, sweatpants, t-shirts, some masks. They don't wear masks in Florida. And I also sold a ton of, um, uh, underwear. So if you guys go to MikeMarino.net and you see some swag that you would like to buy, I'll make that happen for you. And there's my friend Marie who makes incredible cookies. It's nice to see you. You're always welcome in the basement. To all the guests that I've ever had on the basement, I miss you and I love you all. And if anybody ever wants to come back down to the basement, you know what to do. Just write to Tatiana Blueshell, the producer of Live from My Mother's Basement at MikeMarinoEntertainment at gmail.com and let her know that you'd like to come back on the show or maybe you'd like to make your first appearance on the show. Did your dad like his birthday mug? Uh, a friend of mine's writing into the show right now. His name is Anthony Rena, and he wants to know if my father likes the special mugs that Anthony Rena mailed to me. One of them says the Andy Griffith Show, and the other one is my dad's birth date. I don't have them in my hands right now. But Anthony, no, I didn't give it to my dad yet because I just got back from Florida, and while I was in Florida, my father was in Delray Beach. So I haven't had a chance to see him, but as soon as I do, I make sure I will give him his birthday gift from my friend Anthony Rena. I hope you're feeling great. Thank you so much for all that you do. And Joe Gorga and myself in February of next year are coming to Tampa. So if you go to MikeMarino.net or Mike Martucci Events or JoeGorga.com, you will see when the tour is coming into your neighborhood. So right now, let's take in some questions. And maybe you people would like to tell me that this doesn't, well, here, my face is starting to look a little better. Michael Marino, 288, how you doing? I think it's great that I've been meeting a lot of people around the world that have the same name as me, Mike Marino, and my father's name is Mike Marino. I am Mike Marino Jr. And before I forget, if you guys want to see some comedy, Gary Pastore, my friend Mark Lynn, and a singer whose name is Stephen Maglio will be performing with me this Sunday night, Halloween night, at 7 o'clock on Facebook Live, The Not So Late Show. The Not So Late Show is going to be this coming Sunday night, October 31, a Halloween show. The nose looks fine. How's the thing on your leg? Thank you so much for asking, Gina. There's the nose. Wait. Wait. No, here it is. It's, see, it's still red. The fuck? I hope it goes away. The thing on my leg is aggravated. It's having a really hard time adjusting because it was a deep cut. And the doctor told me it's in a really bad area down by the ankle. So it's hard to get that to uh, heal. Plus, I've been traveling. I'm always walking. I'm always on my feet. I never really elevated. I've been putting the cream on it, but I'm having a hard time. Um, crazy shit going on in the news. 
And of course, you all saw the unfortunate accident that happened on a film set with Alec Baldwin. I can only imagine how horrible that's got to feel that you accidentally... Do you want to checkmate out to Mike Marino? Somebody's actually writing me while I'm doing this. And where do they want my check to go? I want my check to go in my bank. <laughs> All right. Let's go with some questions about how do you feel about the kids getting vaccinated? It's all over the news now. The police department, if you want to be a cop in New York City, got to get vaccinated. Tomorrow night, if you want to come and see the show, you have to be vaccinated, show proof of the vaccination. However, we're sold out. I don't know if you got to wear a mask or not, but we're going to find out tomorrow night. And I've been watching a lot of me TV. It makes me happy because I get to see comedy from back in the day. And that's what you want to do as far as I'm concerned. If you want to laugh, you want to smile, watch an old horror movie that's campy. You know the word campy. It's so campy. It's so stupid. It's actually hard to sit through. Smoke a joint and it'll make you laugh. I'm waving to everybody. Marco, Michael Marsili, how are you? Pammy Pam, hello. IG hair fashion. OG hair fashion. <laughs> Whatever that means. I'm waving to you, baby doll. I hope I can still say that without getting in trouble. That's the way my mother always said, where's the baby dolls? All right. So here on Facebook, let's go for some questions and see who's out there having fun. Mike Marino. Hey, Mike. My wife from Venezuela says hello. Well, hello, Mike Marino, and hello to your wife from Venezuela. Nancy Turton Parker says hello. Hello, Ingrid. It's nice to see you too. My friend Ingrid from high school. Actually, on November 26th, the night after Thanksgiving at the Tavern in Scotch Plains, New Jersey, on Park Avenue, there is a 1981 high school reunion. 41 years, I'm out of high school, and I'm going. Nancy Turton Parlor, thank you, nice to see you. Your new shit is funny. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad you find my shit funny. Um, Tarek MC, how you doing? And your stuff gets ruined, and your stuff gets ruined. An itch an hour. What the hell is this song? Are you rained out? You froze. Some of these questions, you have a dog, LOL, a cricket in your kitchen. Okay, listen, if you're going to ask a question, you have to ask the whole question. <laughs> Lynn Marie Scrivano, how you doing? Maybe it was a spider. Yes, maybe I did get bit by a spider. I hope I don't grow four legs. I'm in the same way way if it comes back to life and crawls out of the garbage. Oh, okay. Some of these questions are from earlier. Hello to my friend Nick Aquino, who's out there in Florida. I hope things are going well with you, Nick. What is with you and bugs? The last show I watched you in, a bug was interrupting you while you were performing. That's right. I was performing one night and a bug flew into my head and that was at Snappers Comedy Club in Palm Harbor, Florida. So Nick, I can tell you from now, thank you so much for watching and listening and hanging out and everything is good with you and your lady. I will be back at Snappers Comedy Club in Palm Harbor, February 5, 6, 7, and 8 of next year. So write that down in your calendar. Shh. Nancy Turton would like to be a guest. Keep freezing, not sure if I'm watching you live or not. Yes, I'm live. How do you feel about what's happening to Dave Chappelle? Okay, now we got a question. Well, Dave Chappelle, to me, really is one of the all-time great entertainers, all-time great comedians. Why should any one group of people be strong enough to stop another group of people from saying what they want to say? Seems to me that if I'm an entertainer and I'm on stage and I have my point of view and you don't like it, well, then don't come. You don't have to be here. 
I don't go to anybody else's function that I don't believe in. It's not my thing. However, I have nothing bad to say about somebody else's lifestyle. If that's your lifestyle, great. Good luck to you. I wish you all the best. But I don't need you to be making fun of my lifestyle. This is the way I am. Um, I remember when I was younger, we did have some bullies in our high school. I got bullied once in a while. And you know what my father said? Go back to high school and bully the bully back. You're probably going to get your ass kicked. But that's okay. It's not really going to get hurt. Not really going to hurt. And when you're done, you guys are going to end up becoming friends. And we did. And everything is super great now. I just saw a legendary director write in. Mr. John Nasher out there in California. Buddy, I so need to show you my life at the beach on the Jersey Shore when I grew up surfing. You can see a picture of me and my brothers and my family behind me surfing there. They're all over this house. I think you're going to have a lot of fun when you get to see what I promised that I was going to show you. And I will definitely make that happen. Prehistoric looking little shits. You have cave crickets are gross. No, no, it's not a cave cricket. I know what that is. I don't ever want to see one. They're the ugliest things. But I tell you what, if you're on a diet and you don't want to eat, look at a cave cricket. Oh, you'll never eat again. In fact, now that I think about it, I'm never going to be hungry again. So anyway, so there's your answer to that question about Dave Chappelle. Thank you so much for asking the question. Who else we got out here? Nancy, Amityville Horror, love black and white horror movies. That's right. How do you feel about what's happening? We already answered that question. Who else? Don't walk on eggshells. Yeah. Right now, I'm getting a little chit-chat with my friend Vinny Ciceri. Hey, Vin, I miss you, man. I'm in New Jersey, as you can see. I'm in my mother's basement. Vinny Ciceri, Ciceri is a great actor. He's been in a lot of movies. He's been in one of the all-time greatest movies of all time. Analyze this, or analyze that. And uh, he plays one of the hitmen. Watch him, check him out, and uh, punch the bully. And of course, that's coming from Vinny Ciceri, who would kick the shit out of anybody. That's for damn sure, because he teaches martial arts. He's really, really great. Look him up, Vinny Ciceri. Gene Paul Comedy, how are you? Sabino Curcio, how are you? One of the greatest sites on the internet is Growing Up Italian. Everybody, listen to me. Go on Sabino Curcio's site. It's called Growing Up Italian. And it's everything that I've ever seen, done, experienced, and wanted to be my whole life. Because guess what? I'm Italian. And I grew up Italian. I'm still growing up Italian. Sabino, Anthony was supposed to be here in the basement with me tonight. He had some car troubles. He couldn't make it, but we're going to make that happen. And I hope I get to see you on November 27th when I'm performing at the Carteret Theater in Carteret, New Jersey. I will give you complimentary tickets. You don't even have to bring me a sandwich, but I wish you would. Tomorrow night, Sabino, if you're available, if Anthony's available, we're going to be in the city me and Joe Gorga are playing Caroline's Comedy Club in the city. If you guys want to come, I'm sure we could squeeze you in. The show has been sold out, but it's going to be off the chain. A lot of great Italian humor from two Italian wise asses from the state of New Jersey. Joe Gorga from Patterson. I'm originally from Jersey City. It's going to be the shit tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, 7.30, uh, Caroline's New York City. Watch out. Here we come. Absolutely great sight growing up Italian. Prayers for Cat Catania, Italy. Oh, that's right. It is a flood in Catania. If you see the pictures on the internet, it's really, really sad. Ugh. You know, it, you, it kind of makes you wonder, how is there a flood in different parts of the world at the same time? I mean, we're experiencing the flood here in New York and New Jersey. Watch the news. It's brutal. Then it's supposed to be nice tomorrow, nice Thursday. Then Friday, it's going to happen again. I mean, is the great Lord above trying to tell us something, ladies and gentlemen? Is he doing what he did with, you know, Noah's Ark? 
Is he trying to flood us out? Is the famine coming? Is the end of the world coming? Is he going to get rid of just the bad people and let us good people hang around? I figure I'm a good person. I try to uh, do it, run, a, run a, a nice and healthy life. Jim Mulcahy, how you doing? I'm in the basement actually having a nice Corona light. Too bad you didn't have a moment to stop by. I have your cocktails right behind me, and I wouldn't mind sharing it with you. Uh, let's get together. I'm here this week. I do have a show tomorrow night at Caroline's in New York, but for my New Jersey friends, hold on a minute. See, if I had somebody on the show, I could have hit that beer, and that person could have took over. But nobody's here. It's just me, and that's why you're listening to my voice live from my mother's basement on iTunes, Google, Spotify, Anchor, also Italian American Radio in New York City. You pick your favorite podcast app, and you got me. Or you could keep on watching me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook Live, you name it. I'm even on Patreon, Twitter, and I have LinkedIn and my YouTube channel. All right, I'm also at MikeMarino.net. You got a question, you want to talk to me, you want to write to me, it's not a problem. I can make it happen for you at MikeMarino.net. Um, let's suppose that I'm taking in a caller right now on Instagram, and this caller says, You're the best. Keep up with good work. You're my favorite comedian of all time. That letter is on Instagram right now, and I'm reading it, and I want to thank you, Sanjunum Malum. I hope I'm not destroying your name, buddy. Sanjunim Malum. I hope I'm saying it right. Thank you. I appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, um, to be in the entertainment business, the ultimate high is when someone compliments your work. You want to be known for doing good work. You want to be known. You want to be famous. You want to earn a living. But being known for good work is probably more important than anything. The other day I got a fan letter and um, the woman wrote me, uh, I love your work. When are you coming to this area that she lived in? And I wrote her back, and I said, you know, I should be coming that. You nailed it, actually. Sanjunim, Malam, Sanjunim, Sanjuinim. He said I'm saying his name right. That's great. So um, for those of you who are just listening, I got a nice little fan letter on Instagram from Sanjunim, Malam. Sanjunim. Where are you? Where are you in the world? This is going to be really cool. Watch this. I bet he's in another country. Um, you nailed it. I can't believe he said I nailed it. Uh, I got this fan letter, and she wrote me three paragraphs how she watches my morning walk every morning, Mike, in the morning, morning walk with Mike, and she watches my work on YouTube, but she's never seen me in person, and she's never seen a show live. So I said, thank you very much. She said, I actually save her life because she suffers from depression and I make her happy. How could you not go crazy over somebody writing you that? So what do I do? I write her back and say, what's your address? And I sent her a bunch of free sweatshirts and t-shirts and everything, a care package from Mike Marino, just from that compliment. I mean, it really, really makes you happy. Well, I'm from Serbia. It's a country in Europe. <laughs> okay, so Sanjunim, Sanjunim just wrote back that he's in Serbia. Think about how great that is. I'm actually getting a fan letter from Serbia. And he's saying it's a country in Europe. I think we all know that. But I'd like to tell you thank you, thank you, thank you. What time is it there? It's about 8.30 here in the great state of New Jersey. What time is it in Serbia? <clears throat> I'm getting another letter. This letter is coming from Jim Bobincheck. Saw your show at Fasani's this past Saturday. It was awesome. Jim, thank you very much. Please write to me at MikeMarino.net 
and I will send you back some great emails. If you have pictures taken between you and I while I was out there, I'll send you some pictures. I'll put your pictures on my internet on Friday, which we call Fan Friday. So let's make that happen. Hey, folks, I'm doing a fundraiser Thursday night. Well, I'm working at night shift. It's 2.30 a.m. Oh, man, how cool is that? Are you watching? Sanjunim is at work. He works the night shift in Serbia. And 2.30 2 in the morning, he's watching me. He's watching me. How fucking great is that? Dude, if I could call you dude. What kind of work do you do? What are you doing out there? Let's see what the answer is going to be. What's up, Marino? Brandon Bruno. How you doing, Brandon? Hey, Brandon, I tried to get in touch with you. Brandon Bruno is a friend of mine. He sponsored a lot of Mike Marino shows on tour. He has a great clothing line, which is called Rockstar Clothing. I was wearing it on the show. Uh, it was an Italian festival in San Pedro, California. And everybody was going nuts. It was the black shirt that you gave me, the button down with the front logo of Italy, and on the back it said Rockstar Clothing. And everybody wanted to buy the shirt. So I hope you go back in business or stay in business or whatever it is that you're doing and you move to New Jersey and we have some fun with Rockstar Clothing. I'd love to have those clothes again. I feel like I am international. We are going to do Dubai again. Dubai is in October of next year. And then there's going to be a lot of Canada. I actually was offered a job in North Dakota in March. And I had to turn it down because I have something else. But I don't know if I want to go to North Dakota in March because it's going to be cold. And I don't, I don't really want to do the cold anymore. I want to play a lot of Florida. So listen, folks, we sold out tomorrow night at Caroline's in New York, the first episode of Jersey Boys on Tour with yours truly and Joe Gorga from Jersey Housewives. Well, I'm at working in a toilet paper factory as some kind of a boss. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, thank you very much, San Junim, for making us smile. He works in a toilet paper factory, and he's the boss. He's the guy who says, let's roll. <laughs> you get it? Toilet roll. T -t -t Toilet roll. Okay. Thursday of this week, and I believe it's October 28th. Thursday of this week, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to, I'm going to be performing in Middletown, North Middletown, New Jersey. And in North Middletown, New Jersey, we're raising money, stars and stripes. It's for... Raising money to train dogs to be service dogs for men and women in the military. U A U S A dot org forward slash Monmouth County. You could donate money to the cause if you like or come and see the show. It's fifty dollars to get in, you get food. If you're interested and you're in the Monmouth County area, October twenty eighth, let's help out the military men and women. By calling Kit Roche. Her name is Kit Roche. And her phone number is 732-788-4005. And tell Kit you would like to be part of the show Thursday night, October 28th. San Jimen says, so every time you go to the toilet, you will think about some dude from Serbia. Yes, we will, San Junim. Every time I take a shit, I will think of you. <laughs> Thank you so much. And don't forget, folks, if you want to come and see that show on Thursday night, it is a fundraiser. We're doing this for free. A sponsor came in and hired me to come down there and make the people laugh. It's $50 to see the show, but you do get dinner to watch and enjoy the show. Friday and Saturday night, I got the weekend off. And Sunday night... If you want, you want to have some fun, for $4.99, the Not So Late Show, with me, my friend Marklin, Gary Pastore. Marklin is called Mr. Direct. Uh, he's a comedian. Gary Pastore, and also singer and sensation Steve Maglio will be on the show with me. All you have to do is go to Mike Marino Live on my Facebook page, 
pick up a ticket for four dollars and ninety nine cents, folks. For four dollars and ninety nine cents, you can have thirty people in your house watching the show. Everybody kicks in a quarter, and you get to see the show. We're gonna have comedy sketches, stand up comedy, and singing Sinatra style. That's Halloween night. Listen to the tour schedule for the month of November. November 5, Chicago. November 5, Chicago. November 6, the Stanley Theater, Utica, New York. How the hell am I going to do that? I'm going to fly to Chicago, Chicago to Syracuse, Syracuse back to New Jersey. November 13th, the Raz Room in Boca Raton, Florida. It's almost sold out. My friend Sharon Pfeiffer will be doing stand-up comedy on the show at the Meisner Park Raz Room. My cousin, Peter Lemongello Jr., will be singing on the show. That's November 13th. November 19th, the Jersey Boys go back on tour. That's right. Me and Joe Gorga will be at Governor's Comedy Club in Long Island, New York. So make sure you guys grab some tickets. It's one show only, November 19th. The big show, ending the year for me in the state of New Jersey. Folks, November 27, I'm going to be at the Carteret Theater in Carteret, New Jersey. It's a brand new 1,600-seat theater. 1,600. We need to fill this shit. There's going to be an after party. There's going to be a lot of movie stars at my show. My friend... Jack Jr., Jack Asadorian, from Los Angeles, California, will be on the show with me. Him and his family own a famous comedy club in Los Angeles in the North Hollywood area, Lancashire Boulevard. It's called the Ha Ha Comedy Club. The Ha Ha Comedy Club. Check it out. And then, November 28th through December 12th, I'll be on a cruise ship. That's right. Two weeks, I will be on Harmony of the Seas. Ah, oh, I so need to go back to the ocean. Harmony of the Seas, one of the biggest cruise ships in the fleet of Royal Caribbean. And we're going to Costa Maya, Cozumel, Coco Cay, St. Thomas, St. Martin. What a way to spend the holiday. Oh, I just made a run. December 13th, I have a show in Florida. And then December 15th, I'll be on Princess Cruises. It's a grand Princess Cruise. Leaves Long Beach, California and goes to Cabo St. Lucas. December 23rd, I'm doing a Christmas party. You can't come to that, but I'm going. The Not So Late Show, the last show of the year, will be December 26th. That's my Christmas special. And if you want to ring in the new year, December 31, I will be a Catch a Rising Star in Princeton, New Jersey. You can get a room, you get dinner, you get me, you get a band, you get a DJ, you get drunk, and you get laid. I think. In those orders, especially. So I hope you'll come down and you'll join me. Okay, let's see who else is asking any questions. There's Billy Lapidus. It's nice to see you, buddy. I'm going to get going, folks. I wanted to do a nice little broadcast with just myself. Things are starting to open up. I think the world is becoming a better pray, uh, place somehow. Hopefully, hopefully, the weather will stay with us and carry us into the new year in a nice way. And then when I get back to Los Angeles in December, hopefully, we'll start filming a whole new TV series called Marino 2024. How's that sound? Yeah. I'm also going to be working on a project called Growing Up Grand, which is about my life living here in the basement. And I'm also going to be working on a documentary about my beach life called The Shore House, the original Jersey Shore. You guys got to be watching this stuff. It's going to be fantastic. If you would like to be on my show, you want to come down to the basement, it's not a problem. We can make that happen. Are you a chef? Are you an internet personality? Are you a comedian, a producer, a director, a author? Are you raising funds for a project of any kind? Are you a politician? Are you running for mayor? Are you part of the Rotary Club? Whatever it is, 
you're more than welcome to come on the show. All you have to do is tell me why by writing to the producer of the show, Tatiana Blue Show. Her email address is Mike Marino Entertainment at gmail.com. Say hello. Tell her you love her work as a producer as you watch my live show because she's in California right now making sure this show is successful and it's being broadcast and everything is going great. So if you would like to be part of that, that's how you do it. You want to be a fan? You want to get on my guest list? You want to write to me from time to time? Two ways. Mike Marino fans at gmail.com. That's right. Mike Marino fans at gmail.com. Or subscribe to my newsletter. It comes out every Wednesday. MikeMarino.net. It's free. Takes a few seconds. And you'll always know when I'm coming in to your area. I can use as many subscribers as I possibly can on my YouTube channel. It's free. And you get to laugh. There's tons of videos. You never have to pay to watch my YouTube channel. It's YouTube forward slash Mike Marino Live or anything at Mike Marino Live. I even have a Venmo if you want to send me some money at Mike Marino Live. Want to buy some jackets? You want to start Christmas shopping ahead of time? MikeMarino.net. You can make it happen. Everything, though, is social media at Mike Marino Live. Anthony Arena says, be safe, everyone in New Jersey and anyone else around the Nori East area because it's coming. It's going to be here for a little while, and we need to be safe. I'm actually getting my snowblower um, fixed so that it's ready for the new year and what's yet to happen when it comes around. So one last question. Are you going out for Halloween? And if you go out for Halloween, what are you going to be? One last answer to a question. Nick Aquino says, you're a class act. You truly care about your fans. You called me when my mom passed away of COVID last year, and you always have time to talk to us when we come to all your shows. You are also appreciative when you got sick and we called you every day. I'm, hold on a minute. I'm a fan and a friend for life. Um, that paragraph is coming from Nick Aquino, who is originally from the East Coast. He's in Cal um, Florida right now. Nick, thank you, because that is me. I do care. I want everybody to be happy. I hate when I have to see people in pain. You all know I take care of my father as best I could. And I'll tell you right now, what's today? The 26th? 25. Hold on. Watch. We'll do one more thing while I'm on the air. Check this out. October 25 is my brother Paul's birthday. My brother Paul Marino. Look him up on the internet at Paul Marino Music. He's a musician. He just turned 60 years old. October 25 is his birthday. Um, I believe I'm right on this. But around this time, uh, my mom died the day before my brother Paul's birthday. It was October 24. I want to say it was eight years ago now, maybe nine years ago. Brutal. Brutal. My mother was living with myelodysplasia. It's a blood disorder. And it's a form of cancer. For 30 days while she was in the hospital, we thought she was going to come home. Never really thought she wasn't going to come out of the hospital. She had a triple bypass because a few, few weeks before she went into the hospital, she had a small heart attack. I really wish we told her not to go into the hospital. Stay home. You're 83 years old. Leave it alone. You know, stay with us. I was in California at the time, so I came home to visit. And when I saw my mother in the hospital, I thought everything was going to be okay, although she wasn't talking to us. And, of course, I get back on the plane, I go back to California, and you get the phone call from your father, and he says, come home. It's over. And then all the family gets to go to the hospital, and they gather around the bed, 
and they watch a lifeless person take their last breath, and it's over. I forgot why I was bringing this up. Oh, the point being is, my mother always said, it doesn't cost you anything to be nice to people. It's the only thing in this world that's free. So why not just do it? You actually think about that. You don't have to pay for anything. You just smile and say, well, why don't you go ahead? I've been doing it my whole life. It's kind of easy. You ever get in line at the airport and someone nudges to get in front of you and you're saying to yourself, well, maybe they have a first class ticket or maybe they're just in a hurry. But the plane's not leaving without everybody anyway. So what does it matter? Do they think they're going to get more spacious room above you? So I always look at the person and go, you look like you're in a hurry. Why don't you get in front of me? Do you see how stupid that is? It's a plane. <laughs> it's all leaving at the same time. But people actually get in front of you. So guess what you get? A, you get to be nice to the people and you feel good about yourself. B, you're going to make yourself laugh your ass off because that's hilarious. And C, they're actually going to be angry that they weren't nice to you back. And they got to spend the rest of the day knowing that they're an asshole. And you don't. So there you go. Mom was always right. It doesn't cost you anything to be nice to people. It's the only thing in the world that's free. So why don't we do that? I'm going to see a couple more write-ins before I go. Mike, love you, brother. This is coming from my friend Dino in Toronto, Canada. No, no, I'm sorry, Montreal. Dino! Hey, how are you, child? Come stop. I'm sorry I've been in touch. I miss you too. Dino said, Mike... Love you, brother. I lost my mom six years ago this month after she laid in a coma for 12 weeks in a hospital bed. Sounds like your mom was a great lady. Big hug. And a big hug to you too, Dino. We all experience a lot of the most similar things in the world, don't we? Something that came in that everybody's saying something to. Danny Rosamano, how are you? Uh... My daughter was in a bad car accident. Oh, thank you, Pammy. Pam, I remember you telling me, and I gave you a call, and I hope everything is okay. Thank you so much. Art of the Drum says, you have no idea how much you are loved and are such a positive influence in the world. Well, thank you, Art of the Drum. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. The holidays are coming. They say some of the most loneliest times are during the holidays for some people. If you're lonely and you need somebody to talk to, instant message me and I will get back to you. Other than that, let's have a great night and a great week. Come and watch the Halloween show. Oh, I'm going to dress up like somebody. I got my costume all ready. I'm going out this year as Al Dente. <laughs> Come and see a live show, folks. I got to go. Remember, let's make America Italian again. You know my motto. You don't know nothing, you don't say nothing, you don't see nothing. And how do I end every single one of my broadcasts by always saying the same thing? Say it with me, everybody. Say it. Write it in. Don't take no shit from nobody. Okay. Bye. Hey folks, I hope you're enjoying watching my podcast live from my mother's basement. We're having a lot of fun and I'm going to have a lot of great guests on the show in the future. So if you like it, hit like. You could also leave a comment. You could subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch other funny videos. And you could also listen to my podcast on your favorite podcast app like Spotify and iTunes.